All right, I know you clicked on this video probably thinking it's just another guru trying to show you some sort of make money online method that can scale you to over the magic $10,000 a month. And the entire video basically leads up to a $999 course funnel. I have nothing to sell you in today's video. I have absolutely nothing to pitch you. I literally achieve nothing by making these videos besides teaching you guys how to start YouTube automation. I'm gonna be teaching you the exact blueprint that me and all my team members use to scale countless channels to over 100,000 subscribers and a couple to over a million. This is a brand new shorts YouTube automation strategy that I will be teaching you in today's video. I have it down to an exact science how I start and scale all of these channels. And I am by no means a guru at all. I'm just someone who kind of has an understanding of the YouTube algorithm now. After doing YouTube for a couple years, YouTube Shorts has become my newest specialty, but I got my first gold plaque from a long form channel. And the big misconception with YouTube automation is that it's always just long form style videos like the one you're watching now. When in reality, the new wave of YouTube automation is short form content. The YouTube Shorts monetization program has made it so easy to make a ton of money online that more people are training towards shorts versus long form content because how easy it is to start and scale. And that's why I think it is the best business model to start as a beginner. If you guys are watching this video as a beginner, this one's for you. So here's my full five step YouTube automation shorts guide. This is the five step process that I use to start all my channels. In the past few months, I've already started four other channels and two of them are already monetized by now using this exact simple guide. And another thing I wanna get out of the way before we get more deep into today's video is that this is not something that's fully automated. A lot of people, especially in the guru space, try to describe YouTube automation as something where you basically set it up on the first day and it just prints you money 24 seven. You can just sit back on a beach or something to make money. In reality, that's not how it works. There is some work that goes into you about YouTube automation, you don't just get to sit back and the entire process is automated for you. There is work that actually needs to be done and I'm gonna be showing you that in today's video. It is an insane amount of work versus you know someone working an actual job, you can get this done in less than an hour per day. But I just wanna get that out of the way that this is not a fully automated process and there is work that has to be put into it to be able to be successful in the YouTube automation space. So the first thing you guys actually have to do right here is pick a niche to start your YouTube automation channel in. And I put research current training niches and pick one that has in this video ideas that can be outsourced. So to basically dumb that down is you need to find a niche that you can probably come up with a thousand video ideas in an instant. You don't want some sort of niche that you, you're going to run out of video ideas after the 10th short. You need a niche that's not exactly super broad. Like you can't just have a niche as in like memes, but you also can't have a niche in some specific movie because eventually you're going to run out of content to make about that specific movie. But if you make a YouTube channel or about movies itself and always have new movies to make shorts about, that is a much better plan. You need to be able to pick a niche that you guys can scale easily and the other part of it you guys need to be able to outsource that niche as well you do not want to make some sort of niche that your personal brand is tied to it like if I wanted to start a niche and it was like trick shot YouTube shorts that's not something that I could possibly outsource because I have to be the one shooting the trick shots behind the camera and I can't possibly outsource that to someone else because you're the entire brand of the channel like the channel you're watching right now I couldn't possibly outsource the content on this channel because I'm the overall brand of this channel so I can't outsource that content but here's the process I actually do to find my niches so what I do right here is I go on new and incognito mode right here and I usually go to obviously go to YouTube click on the shorts tab right here now when you first get on here, you're gonna have to get rid of the initial fluff like this type of stuff right here like this is obviously the type of stuff that we cannot do but after scrolling for a little bit I found this shorts channel right here getting 300,000 likes per short let's just click on this channel right here and you guys can see this channel is called spud it has 1.46 million subscribers they post these kind of story time videos where they basically respond to just these random questions like no one talks about how scary it is when your friend takes forever to respond to your text just random stuff like that but as you can see these shorts are averaging huge amounts of views if you go to sort of popular right here there are shorts getting over 28 million views and if you know anything about the shorts algorithm you know that YouTube is currently paying between 30 and 50 cents per thousand views so this short alone could earn them around fourteen thousand dollars this literally took me 10 seconds to find this on incognito mode so once you have your niche picked out let's say I want to make shorts just like this because there's obviously infinite video ideas about this random stuff like this all of these videos just have a call to action with a good hook and you can basically create endless content all they do is take random stock footage to put it in the background and you're probably also wondering how do you not get in trouble with copyright because you know you're not immune to copyright laws so you can't just steal these people's videos but you actually can if you do it this way since it's you're actually transforming the content and not stealing it. if you were taking these people's satisfying videos and re-uploading it as your own that would not be allowed but as, as long as you're transforming it into your own content with text and voiceovers and all that stuff like that you're perfectly fine so now that we got our niche picked out right here I'm gonna show you what's next the next step on my blueprint right here is to buy an Asia account. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? For the most part, a lot of people starting this will not need to buy an account. But if you are more deep in the YouTube automation space and you already have like 10 channels, everyone in this space usually knows you do not typically start
start a channel from zero because even though YouTube will not admit it, they do favor channels that are older and more aged because a lot of the new channels they just immediately assume are spam and they do not push those videos as much. But if you're watching this video on like a Google account that you're not currently posting on, you can use that as a brand account and create the channels through there. Or if you have some sort of random YouTube channel you've had since you were like 12 years old, you can just rebrand that channel and use that because it'll have a 10 times better chance of scaling than if you were to just go and create a brand new channel right now. Now, if you just type in age channels right here, the top Reddit post is why does YouTube uh, love age accounts so much for growing? And as you can see, there's so many different websites where you can buy the age accounts. I'm not going to personally promote any because it's been a while since I bought one and I'm not going to promote something that I don't personally use or know that it's fully legit. But you guys can do your own research to buy your own age accounts. You can use the buy them for a couple bucks and trust me, it's worth it. Now, the third step right here is to set up the channel brand and theme right here. This can be done simply on ChatGPT. As you can see, I open up ChatGPT right here and all I have to say is generate me a profile picture for a YouTube channel named what 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 do we want to call this random channel? I, I can't remember what the last one was called. Let's just say Spud. I don't remember if that's the last one was called, but that's the first thing that came to mind. And ChatGPT actually has this brand new feature where it can generate images for completely free. This is not even something in the premium. You're able to generate your own images at least a couple a day. I do have ChatGPT premium, so I'm able to do this as many times a day as I want. So if that's something you want to invest in, I would highly recommend it because it's only like $25 a month and I literally use it for everything on my day-to-day -day work. As you can see, it's making me this cool uh, profile picture right here. It's called Spud and it literally made me this potato profile picture. This is literally the type of thing you'd see on YouTube scrolling through on a channel with over a million subscribers. This was literally just generated right here in a few seconds. This is absolutely perfect to start a channel. You can obviously tell it to do the same thing and make your own banner and everything like that. But this is literally what I've been doing for the last six months to start every single channel. There's no need to be going on Fiverr and paying some sort of designer when you can do this in seconds. And the truth is that's what most people on Fiverr are doing now. They're literally charging people for work that they're having ChatGBT do. So once you have that down, the next step is just start posting two times a day. The shorts that you guys are going to be want to be making for these channels should be something that can be easily outsourced. As of now, there's not really any good tools that make perfect AI generated shorts that don't get flat as AI generated and don't get pushed. So what I do recommend you doing is going on some sort of platform like Fiverr or Upwork and finding a really cheap editor and then sending them those type of videos and all you basically have to do is send them some sort of message along the lines that said, I'm looking to get two of these shorts made a day in this format. Could you do this for one or two dollars per short? That's the typical going rate for shorts like this. Anything more than that, then your editing is a little too high quality to be starting off with and that's the type of editing I recommend starting off. And that's the type of quality video. Is I recommend starting off with. There's no reason you need spending $10 for a short when you're not even monetized or making money. Two times a day is what I've actually figured out is the perfect formula. You'll find people telling you to post six times a day or one time a day or three times a week, but two times a day is the perfect amount. In my personal opinion, from all the channels I run, I literally keep track of how many times I post on each channel. I have a massive spreadsheet and I keep track of all the video's performances. And just overall, I found out that two times a day is the perfect amount. Now, step number five on the guide right here is just to get monetized. Now, you're probably wondering, what did you choose monetization? process look like for shorts basically you have to get 10 million shorts views in the last 90 days and a thousand subscribers which will come instantly with 10 million shorts views I've never had an instance where I had 10 million shorts views and not at least a thousand people had subscribed to the channels the great thing about this is this is decently achievable I know that figure 10 million seems like a lot but with shorts you'll start averaging a hundred thousand to a million shorts views before you know it if you do it right and you're able to get monetized within that 90 day window your first 90 days on that channel you should be getting monetized my last five or six shorts channels I started got fully monetized monetized within the first 90 days. Now that you got that aside exactly how you guys can start printing money with YouTube Shorts, I'm going to give you a little bonus on how you can print money on some other platforms as well. The two other main platforms besides YouTube that pay for short form content at least decently well are Snapchat and TikTok. Now YouTube, in my personal opinion, is the best for making money because you are able to earn around 30 cents per thousand views. Where on TikTok, if you Google how much does the creativity program pay you, they're going to say around a dollar per thousand views, but that's just not the truth. The RPM dropped from over one dollar to in some instances under 10 sense. But the secret I'm going to show you on how I run all these accounts at once is I repost all the videos from YouTube onto other platforms like Snapchat and TikTok. For TikTok, all I literally do is do the exact same formula, post twice a day. I copy and paste everything over and just post on TikTok twice a day. And before I know it, most of those accounts meet those requirements to be able to get monetized. TikTok's monetization is a lot harder to understand than YouTube's because their RPM does fluctuate a lot and they're very strict on what they count as qualified views. It is still an easy way to make a bonus one or two thousand dollars a month. Now as far as Snapchat works as a program called Snapchat Spotlight, where basically you can post content on Snapchat, eventually get verified as a Spotlight creator and start earning money that way. So whenever you load up Snapchat, you'll go to this area right here and see all these uh, creators right here. They're making money off of those. 
And if you go to the spotlight area, all these creators are making money from the views on their spotlight. And all you have to do is repost the shorts that you're posting on YouTube on those two platforms, get monetized, and you can be making three times the amount of money. Now this is the exact formula I used to make money online. This is how I got all my plans. This is how I've been able to buy cool stuff like watches and cars, all from YouTube and YouTube shorts. If you have any questions, do hit me in the comments down below. And once again, I have nothing to sell you in today's video. So if you guys did enjoy this video or have any other questions down below, if there's something I didn't cover in today's video, put it in the comments down below. And I'm going to reply to every single comment. But I do hope you enjoyed this video and you guys learned something. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.